Welcome to this video. Sometimes we are interested to know natural frequencies of a structure. As an example, in ultrasonic assisted machining or forming of metals, we should investigate the natural frequencies and mode shapes of the horn before designing the setup. In continue, we extract the natural frequencies of the horn of ultrasonic machining by frequency step of the abacus software. In the part module, we create the ultrasonic horn, which is a three-dimensional and deformable part. The solid part is created by revolution of a sketch around an axis. I speed up the drawing steps of the sketch. After drawing the sketch, we revolve it by 360 degrees around the revolution axis. In the property module, we create a material for a steel. In a frequency step, this equation is solved to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors or natural frequencies and mode shapes of the structure. In this equation, M and K are the mass and stiffness matrices. So we need to define the density to calculate the mass matrix. After that, we define the linear elastic properties of the material. Any nonlinear definition of behavior of the material, like plasticity or damage of metals, will be ignored in linear perturbation procedure. Next, we define a solid section and assign it to the part. Then we insert the part as an independent instance to the assembly module. In the step module, we create a frequency step which is in the category of linear perturbation. There are three solving procedures in frequency step. The length solver is the default eigenvalue extraction method because it has the most general capabilities. However, this method is generally slower than the AMS or automatic multi-level substructuring method. When you require a large number of eigenmodes for a system with many degrees of freedom, the increased speed of the AMS eigen solver can help you. In the lenses method, we have two options for controlling the number of eigenvalues. First, we can enter the number of frequencies of our interest here. Second, we can request the frequencies between the minimum and maximum values which can be entered here. We can also use both of these methods and the smaller one will be the number of calculated frequencies. As the frequency of the ultrasonic device is between 20 and 100 kHz, we request frequencies between these values. We can also define a positive or negative frequency shift or include a structural acoustic coupling during the frequency extraction. By setting the block size and maximum number of steps, we can increase the speed of solution. The recommended value for block size is the minimum of 7 and number of eigenvalues. By this option, we can project the structural acoustic coupling on the uncoupled eigenmodes. If we want to include residual modes in subsequent mode-based procedure, we can toggle on the last option. In the load module, one end of the horn is fixed as in the experiments. Please note that using the encaster or pin boundary condition is the same for solid elements. As you can see the part cannot be meshed with current settings. Partitioning can help us to achieve the desirable mesh. We use tool, partition and cell and by extending the space partition the part. Now we can use hexahedral mesh by sweep technique to mesh the part.
The elements type is a standard 3D stress and linear. After setting the mesh size, we generate the mesh. In the job module, a job is created and submitted. If we monitor the job progress, we can see that there is only one increment without any time period. This means that in linear perturbation procedure, calculations only are done on the initial stiffness and mass matrices. In the results, we can see the calculated natural frequency and related mode shapes. There are four frequencies between our requested limits which is less than our requested number which was 10. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in next videos.